Djibouti has been a major maritime passage between the East and West for centuries, serving as a transit route for merchants, mostly from Egypt, Rome, Greece and the Arabian Peninsula. But since independence in 1977, Djibouti ports have evolved to primarily meet the growing needs of its landlocked neighbor, Ethiopia, with investments in an electric railway that transports more than 90% of Addis Ababa's import and export trade. We are saving Ethiopia. We are saving uh, South Sudan. We hope we are going to save uh, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and eastern part of uh, Congo. Congo is a huge country, but they have only 40 kilometers of sea coasts on the Atlantic. East African economies are forecast to be the fastest growing on the continent between now and next year, championed by Rwanda, Uganda, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Djibouti, according to the African Development Bank. Djibouti's economy relies heavily on the strategic location of its ports at the intersection of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Eden. About a third of all daily global shipping passes through this strait, making it one of the busiest sea lanes in the world. With six ports in total and the seventh one nearing completion, Djibouti's finance minister, Elias Musa Dawale, says his country is now ready to scale up operations and welcome new trading partners. We are working ourselves in making sure that our development doesn't depend on Ethiopia exclusively. That is not acceptable. This is what we are doing and this is why we invested heavily in transshipment traffic. Now a couple of gantry cranes to handle the latest, biggest vessels in the world. More than 70 countries, including Turkey, currently trade across the Djibouti ports. Vice Chairman of the Turkey Djibouti Business Council, Volkan Kosova, expects they will soon serve as a corridor for new shipping opportunities in the Middle East. We are expecting a big piece in the Middle East, and it means that after that there will be a lot of investment, lots of reconstruction, rebuilding of these countries. So Djibouti is, will be the main port. If so, the government is betting on the installation of its state-of-the-art shipping technologies to meet demand. But for a tiny country of just over a million people, its biggest challenge may be a lack of skilled labor, though the government says it's already training and recruiting young people. Adde Shewa Josh, TRT World, Djibouti.